Hello, Arachne7, and welcome back to Combat Mission Battle for Normandy, where we are uh, continuing the Somme scenario in our Amiens Tonight campaign. And uh, yeah, it's been going pretty well. We've just had a bit of a slugfest with a couple of Panthers. Uh, I think we're coming out on top. So um, just to kind of catch up, we've, we've won, which I think has been effectively knocked out of combat effectiveness and has left the uh, kind of combat area. We have a second one here we were just slugging out with who did take out um, our Sherman on the hill and put a round through this Sherman 5 but all they did here was kill uh, one of the crew. Doesn't seem to have caused much internal damage to be honest which I'm quite surprised about actually. Um, when you look at the the impact hole I would expect that to have done a lot of damage. You've just kind of speckled effect from the Twenty mil near it was tangling with earlier, which destroyed his radar and his optics. Um, but yeah, th this round through front has killed a crew member, but not done much else, which is good news for us. Also, slightly worrying uh, as the it was a, a potential of a round we put through this gentleman's turret. Uh, right, yeah, smoke out of the way, right there. Uh, it may not have knocked out their gun either, so we shall have to wait and see. We have got some reinforcements on the way. Um, so uh, I'm moving up the Firefly Sherman into the position here so he can engage. And I'm also using, moving up a second M10 Optimus Fireline just in case there's any more Panzers in the troop that decide to rear their heads. Um, and the M10 sorry, here, which we had brought to the road, is also going to be moving out onto this hill, uh, shoulder of this hill, sorry. Again, just to overlook that side of the town. One thing which I picked up on restyling, which I hadn't realised, was apparently it was this M10 that actually put the... Looks like he put the round, or at least had a, uh, fired a shot towards the uh, Panther. I didn't realise he was actually engaged in the combat, so there we go. Um, that's probably about orders for this side. Over here, we obviously took the losses to our engineer team from that uh, pack. So what I'm planning on doing is bringing our 8 platoon HQ over and using some mortars uh, to hopefully knock that thing out. But I think the first thing we'll do is we'll play through the first minute and we'll see what happens with our armoured friend. Let's just tail end the fire order. I've told him to cancel that. Okay, there's, why are you guys running across open ground? Ooh, a nice, a nice lovely shot there from this M10. Another penetration. Does look like... Is that the original Panthers coming to play? Oh. Oh. Either way, he's not having a good day of it. Yeah, also that one's that one is knocked out. We'll look at that in detail later. This guy is taking absolute pounding though. That's just some men. We don't have to worry about that being an actually T gun. Or what? I think that was a round from this M10 hitting the trees, but perhaps. We all can see you. Ah, just you all the way back here. Okay, that seemed like a pretty positive minute all round. You are, I was going to say, you're in trouble. Oh, you are the tank crew. I do, I do... I do question this, like, running away decision sometimes. So they've bailed from this crew, and their decision to flee to safety is to run towards the Germans. Like, I don't, I don't think they should always do sensible decisions, right? That makes sense. Sometimes you're going to run the wrong way. But I think at least a kind of base suggestion would be well, let's run back towards my own lines. Or at the very least, let's run away from where I, <laughs> where the fire was coming from, or away from the direction I was facing. All of those might be logical things. None of this is logical, and is to get out and just to run pell-mell across a field towards the area we have been shooting at. You guys kind of deserve this, to be honest. At least you didn't surrender, though. But it didn't get you very much. Okay, anyway, that was an interesting bit. So let's go back. We'll look at this first. Uh, Panther, let's get it from a German perspective. Let's go... Lock the unit view. 
So yeah, none of these guys up in the crest. It must just be he. Uh, he must just be kind of a bit too far forward because there is a bit of a ridge line. They don't all have perfect vision behind. Though I'd have thought the tanks here I'd be able to see. I can see one of them. Anyway. I will also check where that machine gun fire came from. So he just doesn't really do much and then just gets hit and knocked out. So I wonder if his main gun was already out of action from that first hit. Anyway, they have bailed completely now. Uh, we'll check that machine gun in a moment and then... So this is the one we messed up a little bit first time around. We decided to come forward. You should be able to see probably hits in this side. There's one. And we got, I believe, a glancing. And we hit his weapon and then a glancing penetration in the top, I think. I can't see it. Maybe my memory isn't serving me correct. Anyway, so he's decided what he really needs to do is get involved again. Get spotted quite early on by our M10 back on the road of all places. Just lit up. And again, I'm surprised that first one penetrates. I think that's just off a normal Sherman. Yeah, it is. It takes three rounds in succession. Where's that first one hit then? Ah, ricocheting to top hull. Okay. And then the M10 falls up the actual mount penetration. Still not giving up the ghost though. That kind of shot trap. Working to good effect there. Nah, it's another shell from N10 hitting a tree, so luckily we don't have an infantry nearby. Oh, and someone's pop smoke, who's that? Uh, you. Which is fine, you took casualty, I can accept that that's a decision you're going to want to have made. Uh, okay, so one last thing I want to check was where... Where are these gents were getting raked by machine gun fire from? Okay, so it's probably, I'm going to say it's probably in those houses. Okay, and then I think we took a kind of over here. Here we did. Aha. Nope, no aha. <laughs> Where are you? I'm not entirely sure. I can't work out if they're coming through the, the gap in the buildings or from one of the buildings itself because the angle would almost suggest it's uh, through the gap. Seems a bit... Yeah, unless they're in the open, which is, I suppose, possible having retreated from some of these buildings. They might just be lying there. Okay, I'll have to do a bit of advancing. And over here we did move up just to try and shoot at some of these fleeing Germans, which we'd seen before. Oh, my engineer's starting to engage that gun again. I'm not sure that's a sensible decision. They're liable just to uh, put another round in your building, mate. So I'll have you pull out. Ha! What did I say? You fools. Okay, good. Um, to the advance. I do need someone to come and help a little bit of close fire support, which I think is going to be you, just to help clear out these kind of areas, because my infantry squad's a little bit lacking. So why don't you come and punch through here? You need to get up that position I kind of wanted the first tank to do before you get shot to pieces. Uh, let's have you gents just edge along here to see what we can see. I'll have you move sl ever so slightly further forward. Gotta watch out view. Eye lines for that gun though. 
Uh, now, I do know there is some infantry over there, so let's maybe work our way along this back line if we can. Hide behind these walls. And we'll slowly keep pushing forward. Mm, this is a little bit tricksome. So I had wanted you guys to hide in here. I don't know if you're going to get spotted. We shall try it. Um, I'm also going to put you on target arc of not very much. I'm going to put you on nothing because you're scared running away. I think we'll spend another minute just shooting up everything that we can see. May not be that much. Okay. Now I'm going to have to probably reposition a bunch of the tanks up here, up into this field. But we'll do it in a kind of staged order. I think they're still not going out. There we go. We got that kill shot. That was a firefly. Back in this traffic jam. Nicely done. Oh, hello. I think you're a fresh one. Look at you all shiny and new and no holes in you. Okay. Luckily, I think we're now in a pretty good position. This should be a bit of a killing ground. There, our first M10's already got eyes, as does our, as does our other M10s. We've got two M10s lining up a shot as we speak. Ooh, that's not a good first outcome. Neither is that. Hit and a miss. Uh, oh, they also miss. We're just... Why are we bouncing? No, oh my goodness. Okay, now we get penetration or partial. <laughs> Firefly to rescue. Is that none of this nonsense? The amount of rounds it's taking to knock these things out, though, is um, amazing. Amazing. And I don't think he's not, he's not quite done yet. Alright, let's go back. Let's watch his journey, because he got rattled. Hang on, is that a tiger? Is this why I'm bouncing off it? Oh. Oh, it's a tiger. Okay. That is no mere sm small big cat. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Alright, no wonder we're having such difficulty. Although, first one shot. Alright, let's go. Let's go back and then pay attention. Hit the armor skirt. Lancing blow from our first out destroyer, and the second one missed its shot. He fires high. We get one shot in the bounces, another shot so short. So that's four rounds we fired, five rounds we fired. He finally penetrates, and then we get a partial pen of upper hull turret. Upper front turret, even. We're still firing high. And then we get good penetration of the weapon mount from the uh, Firefly. Which carries the same weapon as the M10. Theoretically, shouldn't perform any better. Okay. Ooh, we're hunt hunting big guys. Um, yeah, reloading your main gun. This is not a good place for my tanks to be. Okay. Uh, I did want to check out because we've got some other spots. I think our tank here may have engaged. Nope, we just lost it. Okay, oh no, all my men in the middle are dead. Ooh, 
Not the German. Well, I uh, have lost my Frenchman. Who are here? Oh, they've just run away over there. Okay. No crude jokes about the French required. They have taken a bit of a beating. Yeah, okay, he does get involved. Puts a 75 shell into the uh, side of that building. Doesn't take them out though. And looks like there may be some fire coming from these buildings as well. On my scouts. Yeah, very much so. You boys get your head down, I'm going to get some tanks on that position. Well, I kind of want to make sure we've dealt with this Tiger first. But this is the kind of thing that my 75 uh, milled Shermans are here to do, is to put rounds into that second story of that building. Okay, good. Alright, I think that was all the thing. All, all of note. Cool. Uh, all right, we're gonna put some mortars to use. We might as well use our own map ones, because why not? We're gonna try and take out this AA gun. Uh, apparently, you cannot see. I think you are in the wrong half of the building. Okay, we need to go... No, because even then you might not stand in the right place. I'm not sure. We'll try this. We'll get a mortar command on there, hopefully. Uh, how do I feel about... The Tiger? I mean, pretty good, to be honest. Like to try and start moving some more support forward. Let's move you up. And I'd quite like for this guy to. Well, you can't actually engage the building until you swing pretty wide. So maybe we'll have you hold turn for a minute till we make sure that thing is dead. Okay, I do need to start referring ferrying people back over the river again, but I'm not in a particular rush. Okay, let's play one more minute. Let's see if we can make sure this tank's knocked out. Partial pens, bouncing hits. No return fire is the only good thing I can see. Armor sprawling. Apparently, these things have good armor. Who knew, right? Oh, that was a good one. Okay, and she's burning. Woof! Alright, anything else going to emerge from the mist? It right, looks not like it. Cool. Yeah, you're not in the right place. I'm going to have to try and move you forward. I'm slightly worried about you getting shot by these guys who've been running away. I'm going to do a couple of things. Let's try and get a couple of rifles into this position. Again, I'm, I'm slightly worried about automatic weapons. Let's see if we can get our HQ just into this kind of scrubland. I don't know, somewhere about here. 
feels 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 exposed. Let's see if we can get it done. Okay, I need to. Which, I don't know, how are my troops organized? Pretty poorly at the minute. Oh yeah, you guys are all over the place. Right, let's see if we can get a troop together. Uh, I'll do the movement over off camera, and then we'll come forward in advance about time. Okay, update all my orders. Just trying to shuffle people forward. Continue a bit of scouting these flanks. Try not to get too sucked into the tank duel. I brought essentially ordering one troop up onto this ridge to try and dominate this area. Um, I will need probably to reposition some M10s to support them. Uh, please don't tell me I put my gun too far forward. I have not. Good. Okay, you guys can see it. I'd like my command to be able to see it. And ideally to get to ground. I've also, as you can see by that shot, found a tank with the right angle to knock out the HMG. So we'll have to give that a go. Did you just injure our own man with some excessive overkill for a few paltry Germans? Well, I mean, it's what he gets for trying to surrender, really. Okay, so we spotted at my rifle right moving in position. And you guys are just kind of lying out in the open. Oh, and you've already been captured in the wider blast. And you don't have a radio anymore. That's not super awesome. Okay. Where or how else am I going to get eyes on this thing? To come up take the house up here, which is certainly possible. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe look at that. Do you have to be careful though, because his line of sight... Actually, it's not great down here, so I can I can quite happily push up this flank and then worry about taking care of them. Looks like we might have some Germans in a house here. So I think I'm just going to blow the snot out of it. Let us not worry about if, buts, and maybes. I suppose that third one. Okay. We'll go back to destroying that in a minute. Oh, no, you keep on destroying that. That's fine. You're going to destroy this house. Let's just use large amounts, ideally excessive amounts, of firepower. So we've got one in ten coming up. I'm going to shuffle these guys around as well. Try and create a bit of a a squad just in case something else turns up. Are these guys still very much alive? They are. You are battling my tank. I'm okay with that. My scouts are managing to stay alive as we scooch forward. Uh, and we've even got part of an infantry squad. Okay, we we'll continue to press up. Our, our teams are all a bit broken in terms of morale and stuff, so we do have to watch exactly how far we're pushing them. We shall make do. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, bit of a close range firefight's probably erupting here. You. Oh, not you, actually. Why did you guys decide to cross the wall? OK, 
Okay, German's in that house. Maybe that's why it's across the wall, and you ran to German from this building. Okay. Fair. Where I really wish I had more infantry. Okay, you guys made okay and in some foxholes which help the defence. I do need to put some more rounds into that building. Okay, I think we're going to continue very much in this uh, frame of large volumes of firepower to knock out these infantry positions uh, just because I'm so thin on the ground infantry. I do have the best part of a platoon fresh, but I would also like to keep... It's annoying, you can't see through the streets. Uh, some in reserve for trying to clear out this town. It's not like I can use everything I've got. You guys didn't take any casualties, but are going to run away. Yeah. Then morale starts becoming an issue. I mean, you're pretty much useless to me unless someone else happens to have a radio nearby. Which I don't think is going to be the case. Okay. This area seems to be a bit more safe to move around in, though. So we're starting to scooch our people around. You guys have buddy-aided one of your friends. Go buddy-aid another. And we'll continue to... Oh, you're gonna just going to be a scout for me. A bit of a thankless task, to be perfectly honest. starting to take some pretty good uh, and dominating positions, which I'm happy about. And it's just going to be how long it takes us to kind of work our way through. So in terms of, yeah, infantry left, we've got, uh, obviously we've got a bus with a reasonable number of infantry in it here. I do have another full platoon, uh, full section here, sorry. Where's the rest of your team? Okay, you've got so spread out. I've not, I've not kept my uh, cohesion very well. But yeah, I think we'll have to bring in some additional Forces. Now I just want to quick check, uh, check at the objectives. Okay, there's no. I don't actually need to clear out in here beyond the fact that this, this is a threat. So if I can. And, uh, you know, eventually that gun's going to be able to have sight onto me. But I need to just focus on pushing through and clearing out these objectives at the back. Let's push some scouts up. Alongside our armed support, a bit leery about how the kind of how close this fighting is, considering we have armor, Panzerfaust, Panzerschrex, all of that ilk, going to do bad things to us. I think I'm just going to use large volumes of shells to get the job done. Are you in a hut. Are they the miles back there? Ah, uh, potentially the miles back there. Yeah, they are. Okay, another MG position discovered. Taking us through that building. We shall do the same result. Okay, and this is generally going to be the plan for advance. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'm going to put a bit of a cut in here, because this is not particularly interesting. Uh, I'm going to continue to get this whole troop up on this hill, uh, and we're just going to, again, scout to the end of my positions, and then move forward 
and blow the snot out of anything, everyone and everything we can find. I do have to be careful though, because by destroying these buildings... Hello! I'm uh, actually endangering myself to that gun, so I have to remember to swing low when I go past that. Um, I do need you guys to come be another kind of scout team. Cool, right, I'll put a card and I'll come back in a couple minutes and we've moved on a bit further. Okay, probably back here, not because anything particularly interesting is happening, but I just thought it's a good example of the kind of indiscriminate firepower we're utilizing to uh, really get the job done, which is some secondaries. So I've got four Shermans shooting up four targets, two known HMG positions, two known infantry positions, uh, and yeah, it's pretty effective at shutting down any kind of their fire. Nope, we've destroyed a building. I probably, I, I'm definitely using a bit of overkill here. I should probably dial it back a little bit. But yeah, having taken out their armor, it's just a. We see anything we move. So we, by moving the scouts up, uh, it's causing the machine gun position to open fire, and then we just, once we know we're there, we send large volumes of. Uh, shells down. If we just collapse the building down here, we have. Now you need to watch out that you don't expose yourself to that AT gun. Anyway, I just wanted to, to share that again. I'll keep. We're going to keep pressing forward, keep our scouts going, um, and yeah, when we come across anything from fire, and then uh, I still have to ruminate on what I want to do with the AT gun. I would like to. I would like to take out with mortars, but I'm lacking. HQ units actually. Where is my French HQ unit? Here, and my FOs here. Right, I'm gonna get you in a Jeep and we'll get you to the front. We'll do it that way. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna go keep advancing time, uh, keep shooting things up, slowly, slowly crawl forward my scouts, and maybe we'll, we'll come back when uh, I've got something a bit more meaningful to talk about. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit of direct action against the AT position and I'm probably not going to get confirmation of a kill or not. Um, I noticed that this Sherman, I'm doing a little investigating, actually now this, actually even before this building destroyed, apparently has line of sight to this position here. We know roughly where the AT gun is. So I'm going to have him fire for like 20 seconds and then pull back. I'm also coming to this tank, uh, move forward and um, and engage, you should already have a face command. In fact, is your... No, you're reloading us your main guns out of action. It's fine. Mild panic over. Right, I'm going to have you face that way already. Uh, again, so just should scoot forward. He should fire and then pull back, hopefully before the AT can reposition the fire. We won't be able to do this often, but uh, I'm hoping maybe we can do uh, a couple of lucky rounds. Might get the job done. I don't really know feeling that we could try another pop-up at some other point but this is kind of good enough for me I mean I can I can get enough tanks and people around to, to kind of ignore it and come in from the back later and concentrate on clearing out this area Although I think we're doing a pretty good job there's gonna be remnants around there'll still be people with MGs etc uh, but I think we're doing okay but anyway let's see if this yields us any results Though so how we know could be a challenging one You're not doing anything. Oh, and you're hitting trees. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you didn't really do anything either. Okay, five seconds wasn't long enough. That much is evident. Okay, but I think I'll try that again maybe a bit longer this time. We'll at least have one one attempt at scooting forward and engaging that way. Good, right? Okay. If I get it to pull it off, I'll uh, I'll show it to you. Or if it fails and I blow up a tank, I'll also show that to you. But uh, things like that, I'll probably skip. Okay, be back in a few. Okay, a few minutes on. Progress has been okay. Starting to get. I feel like I'm not getting my infantry forward fast enough. Uh, the Germans have also been starting to throw artillery at me, which is causing casualties here and there, including including that, which is a, a horrendous shell, which gives me four, four casualties of a squad that were just simply minding their business. I also took one casualty in one of my M10s. Um, that's some artillery around here. 
that's about it. So it's it's getting a little bit hot. Um, meanwhile, I, you see I have pop smoke here. There, we found a Bosphorus gun, which we're actually moving to engage. Not Bosphorus, an AA gun. German gun, I keep calling them but, but uh, And they have been... They did shoot up this tank for a while. He's run out of HE shells. So I'm fairly aggressively flanking with another Sherman. As the artillery falls around us. Oof. He's getting a few, fair few hits. It's probably going to damage his optics and his radio. At least you know it's not going to punch through him. Hopefully he can get his 75mm on target. He hasn't really seemed to do it yet. Maybe just, like, just in case you need the encouragement, shoot that thing, please. Um, that's fine. I'm also moving a whole troop round to this far right hand. Take a position in the known uh, what was the German left. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of dead Germans. Uh, again, just to use this position to try and uh, dominate in behind, uh, and then he's really starting to think about how I'm going to kind of, in any way, shape, or form, rapidly move my infantry forward to come out these last few areas of uh, of objective. I'm also worried about here, but we are going to need probably some fairly healthy infantry squads to get in. So I see I've got this kind of uh, reserve team, or most of the team. Really, it's just one healthy section here and one healthy section. Uh, where are they? Here. As long as they don't land in the uh, artillery. So I need to try and, try, and, try and babysit them up to this area without getting them mowed down by a random machine gun fire. This part of this is starting to feel a little bit safer. Not safe, uh, but safer. Uh, so I'm also going to put my little guinea pig scout out here. See what we can, we can roll across. Um, yeah. Got our scouts in. I thought you might be able to see this AT piece, to be perfectly honest. Oh, I can't give you a face command. Okay. And while we've got this little bit of smoke, why don't you pop out, pop through and advance slightly, just to be trying to shuffle ourselves forward. Uh, this guy's just an uh, armoured machine gun at this point. But that's okay. Right, let's have a big run and see if we can take out this threat to our rear. angrily hit a tree. Got a reasonably nice position. Oh, gonna go again. Hey, that looked like a good hit. Yeah, one knocked out gun. Perfect. And a few dead Germans to boot. Awesome, so it's just this one position. Which... You guys have eyes on, okay. Also, my popping out and shooting has done nothing to it. Actually, you're kind of facing the wrong way. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if we can't pop up and scoot you on the side. Let's try that. Now your optics are pretty mullered, so we're going to have to do this probably manually. But that's okay. Make sure we're facing in the right direction. Right in the middle of those foxholes as we're aiming for. Like so. And to be honest, I don't want you sticking around forever. We could do... Could do a 30 second pause. No, let's do a 45 second pause. We should get there and start firing, and then we can make a decision how much longer we want to stay here and see how they react. And that's the kind of last known major threat beyond just pitter-patter of infantry, which is going to cause me a headache. Uh, I have some more scouts up, whose job it is, is to come forward and see if we've actually knocked out all the machine gun positions. That's really the sniper's job, but... Hey ho. Let's see if we can knock out this AA gun. I really just want you to turn the uh, turret, but okay. I don't think you're going to actually fire this minute. Oh, 
Hang on. These guys are doing exactly what we want from them. Who's that fire? I think it might be ground floor from over here. I think maybe they've, after having shelled, have moved down. Oh, were you taking on an AT gun? Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. I applaud the ambition. And you actually got them pinned, which might work out quite nicely when our tank falls around the corner here. He's off. Kind of stop facing the way you're supposed to, though. Oh, <laughs> what a timing. What a timing. They're just chilling. How long do we want to hang around for? Or do we just want to try and quote unquote tough it out? I am burning through a lot of my HE here. Do we want to try and hit the downstairs of this one? Please and thank you. And I can, but I can start le leaning in some of these fine gentlemen. As they come and take up arms over here. Uh, I'm tempted just to stay where we are, to be perfectly honest. Surely side on between the HE and the machine guns, we can suppress this thing, if not knock it out entirely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back my tank commander. A foolish pr uh, idea, probably, but there you go. I want you to hang around for, say, 15 seconds, and then you're gonna continue your scouting job. Which really kind of just involves getting shot at. That looked okay. I should have given you a turn command. But there is no fire coming back. That was a bit of a wayward hit. Let's go back to start and we'll have a look at it from the German perspective. Oh yeah, first hit knocked out. Beautiful. B A beautiful. Okay. So there are no known AT positions left beyond whatever uh, infantry they've got with Panzer Shreks or, I mean, they could have an AT gun position, say, up here. Wouldn't be a terrible place for it to be. So we'll have to continue to do a bit of scouting. Uh, I'll maybe try and get my sniper up into this building just to have a bit of a nosy around. But I feel like that's, although we haven't made much geographical progress this time. I think we've made good mission progress, knocking out the last few remaining threats. It should allow us... Stop shelling me! ...to close in on our objectives. Let's go the inventory we've got left. So yeah, I think we'll push up this side of the road. Probably ignore the infantry over here. Uh, try and take a position, a scouting position in this house. And then probably move into uh, Objective Ludlow. Yeah, because even these houses we don't care about. So we'll move through, we'll try and clear out here. And really, if I, if I can set up the, whatever remnants of infantry I've got left just holding these houses, I might happily just rest on my laurels rather than try and uh, do any kind of push to clear. Okay, that's a plan, but that's going to wait till next time. So I think uh, we're half an hour, half an hour o'clock, so we should do it in the next couple of episodes. Knock this thing out. I think it's going well. We've gotten ourselves a nice tiger kill, don't get that very often. Um, and we're only down. What are we down actually? One Sherman and one M10? Or two Shermans and an M10? 
Uh, no, just one Sherman, one M10, and we did take a round, but it didn't knock us out. That's not a bad exchange for two Panthers and Tiger. I'll take that. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Cheerio!